22nd Sunday after Pentecost, Year B, from the Gospel according to Mark. Throwing off his cloak, Bartimaeus sprang up and came to Jesus. In the name of that same Jesus, who with the Father and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, now and forever. Amen. That moment of Bartimaeus' response tells us three things about receiving the kingdom. The first is that we will not see it coming. Like Bartimaeus and like Job, we respond often to what we do not understand, having only heard of God by the hearing of the ear, until suddenly we see. Second, we may need to throw off our cloaks when we leap up in response to Jesus' call. Job makes use of the stripping away that his afflictions have forced upon him as a time to grow in understanding, a way to cast away misconceptions of himself, the same way Bartimaeus casts off his cloak. Continually, as Christians, we must ask ourselves what it is about our self-understanding or our self-presentation that's hampering our movement or preventing us from being fully seen or creating a barrier between us and the world. Third, that moment of Bartimaeus' response promises us that in responding to Jesus' call, we will find ourselves restored. In regaining his sight, Bartimaeus is enabled to follow Jesus even further than his initial leap of faith could take him. God blesses the impoverished, bereaved Job in his latter days more than in his beginning. With the psalmist, therefore, let us look not only for a deliverance that restores us to what we once were, but also to a deliverance that makes us happy, radiant, having both claimed and proclaimed our portion of the greatness of the Lord. What portion then will we seek? What kind of restoration might we need in order for us to follow Jesus, who offered his whole self as his sacrifice? What versions of ourselves would we want to claim as true so that having been stripped down, brushed off, dressed up, adorned, and perfumed with the glory of God, we might not only behold and admire ourselves, but also turn and offer ourselves back to the God who has continually created and yet more beautifully restored us. That cycle of claiming and offering ourselves and the love of our neighbor for the purpose of restoring, reclaiming, and offering once more, again and again and again, is the work of the kingdom we seek to enter in the name of the one who offered himself once and for all. Therefore, let us throw off our cloaks and follow him. In the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.